Hello, today I'll be showing you how to start your cross stitching. So, if you have bought one of my kits, your eider, like this, will be cut to size already, and your thread will be cut to size. However, if you don't have one of my kits, you will be buying your thread or come something like this. So to cut it, an easier way, rather than separating it all, is to push your labels to the middle, go to the bottom end, the number end, Pull it all out so the loops are on either side. And then just get your scissors and just snip. Then you can just pull. Oh, see now I've missed one there. See? So you can just pull one out and it'll be the right size to start stitching. Pull that to the side for a minute. Then you need to find the centre of your eider. So if you fold that in half, then in half again. And that cross in the middle is where your centre of your eider is. Then you need to put it in your hoop make stitching easier. So one at the back, one on top. Pull your eider nice and tight in the hoop. Tighten it up. Try and make sure you can pull it as tight as you can. There's no loose bits. Just make stitching it so much easier. Now you need to thread your needle. So take your needle and your length of thread. So your thread is made up of six strands. You only need to use two of these strands for my designs. Now some people use three or four just to add a little more depth but I only use two. So just pull it apart and then take your needle and thread it through like so. Now you want to find that cross in the middle. Now you pull it tight you might just you probably only just be able to make it out. So if you want to mark it before you put it in the hoop, you can do. So then put your needle through and as you're coming through, you just want to catch in about an inch of the thread at the back like that, leave it there and hold it back to the front to make your first stitch. So you're going diagonally across into that hole. And then you're coming straight up to the hole above. As you're coming up though, make sure that you're catching that length of thread at the back. So when I'm pulling it through, I've caught it. And then you're going diagonally across again. Then you start in your next stitch. So coming down diagonally. And then you're going straight up to the top again, up to the next hole. And again, make sure you're catching that thread at the back again. And just carry on like that for as many stitches as the pattern is telling you to. So again, I'm going to catch it at the back. Like so, and keep going all the way along and that is how you start your cross stitching